and welcome to this bonus day of Emerge Financial Health. I'm Marissa Walster, Senior Director and Business Strategy Lead at the Financial Health Network, and I'm thrilled to be your host. Earlier this month, we reflected on macro shifts facing financial institutions this past year, how the pandemic affected specific communities, and we gained insights on how leaders are driving financial health forward. You heard calls for systemic change, like standard national financial health measurement, evolving the mission of the IRS to include benefit distribution, reimagining how we fund our governments so they are no longer built on the backs of the most vulnerable. You are inspired by the acts of your peers and leaders. Our 2021 Financial Health Visionary Award recipient, Her Majesty Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, bringing financial health and inclusion to every corner of the globe. Daylight CEO, Rob Curtis, bearing his personal story to help us see the importance of truly understanding the needs of customers. And you are here today because you know there is so much more to do. This past year has brought focus to the frailty of financial health in America. Millions are experiencing extreme financial hardship. In 2020, more than two thirds of people were struggling to spend, save, borrow and plan in ways that allow them to be resilient and seize opportunities over time. Feeding America estimated that more than 50 million people faced food insecurity last year, including 17 million children. Your customers, your employees, your communities, they need you. They are calling on you to be stewards of their financial health. They expect you to help. 2019 financial health pulse data revealed that 80% of customers expected their financial institutions to help them improve their financial health. Yet only 14% thought their institutions delivered. We can do better. There's an opportunity here, an opportunity to build financial health for all, not just because it's the right thing to do. There's also a real business case to do so. If these same financial institutions can deliver, our data show that consumers are ready to reward them with greater loyalty and greater satisfaction. So today, we get tactical and we go deep into the tools that can help you realize this opportunity and we map the FinHealth future of your business. So let's take a moment to talk about this new framework, the FinHealth map. Earlier this year, the Financial Health Network published its FinHealth Map, a maturity assessment program, our tool to make the business strategy of financial health understandable, actionable, and sustainable for you. So while each of you will take a different path, as unique as your company and the people you serve, the pillars of an impactful strategy are the same. And the FinHealth Map outlines these common pillars. Using the map as our guide today, our sessions will dig into each of these four pillars, vision, infrastructure, performance, and solutions. Our first pillar requires that companies understand financial health and commit to improving it. Does your company have a definition of financial health? One that all employees know and understand their role in? Do you all see financial health as a driver of your business? This is vision, the first pillar. If you joined us on June 9th for the presentation of the Financial Health Visionary Award, you heard the embodiment of this in Her Majesty Queen Maxima of the Netherlands and PayPal CEO Dan Schulman. They have both made financial health a driving force in their work and organizations. But this often starts with just one employee knocking on a colleague's door and sharing their vision for the role their company can play in improving financial health. To achieve this vision, our next pillar requires that companies commit people and resources, leadership with processes, analytical tools, and employee incentive structures to inform decision making for employees from the C-suite to frontline staff. This is infrastructure, the second pillar. Achieving financial health impact can require an internal transformation and investment, creating new teams and processes, 
investing in data and technology, rethinking incentive structures across the organization. But how do you know if you're on track? Our next pillar calls on companies to measure the financial health of customers and employees. Use this data to inform the products, programs, and benefits they offer. Set goals and hold themselves accountable to meeting them. This is performance, the third pillar. Data is at the core of business decisions today. Determining the success of a marketing campaign, monitoring the profitability of a product, determining employee engagement. None of these things happen without setting a goal, measuring, monitoring, and iterating to achieve that goal. Financial health should be no different. So while these first three pillars, vision, infrastructure, performance, focus internally on an organization's processes that make impact efficient and effective, Ultimately, financial health for all requires you to successfully deliver solutions to your customers, employees, and communities. This is our fourth pillar, solutions. This goes beyond offering financial literacy content or one token product. This takes addressing the full set of financial health needs. Serving the needs of low-income families, black and brown people, the LGBTQ plus community, using techniques like behavioral economics to fortify your solutions and impact, taking a hard look at whether any of your products leave people worse off than they came to you. This is where financial health happens. Vision, infrastructure, performance, solutions. Each of you is likely in a different place on this journey at a different level of maturity within each of these pillars, because there is no one right path. But we must be on this journey and continue to make progress. Your customers and employees of yesterday are calling for something different today. The past year made this clear. So while financial health for all will require a transformation in both mindset and strategy, we cannot go back. This is the transformation that your customers, employees, and communities need. But you do not need to go this road alone. Well, it may be hard to imagine, as we each sit alone at our kitchen table slash home office, or in an office socially distanced from our coworkers, you are currently surrounded by hundreds of your peers. We are all on this journey together. You, me, and each of the people we have the chance to help. So let us use today as the first step among many on our new journey to address financial health for all. I'd like to send a special message of thank you to our sponsors. Their support in these critical conversations at this moment in time has been truly inspiring. Thank you to foundation sponsors, JP Morgan Chase and Prudential Financial, gold sponsors, BlackRock and PayPal, silver sponsors, Bank of America, Fifth Third Bank, MasterCard Center for Inclusive Growth, and MetLife Foundation. Bronze sponsors, Capital One, Members Development Company, the National Credit Union Foundation, and Opportune. We sincerely appreciate your support. So by now, I expect you have all participated in numerous events by video. So these housekeeping tips should be familiar. We have included a Q&A and polling tool on the right of this page where we encourage you to share your thoughts and ask questions throughout the day. Please pose questions to our panelists and share your own thoughts and insights. Remember, you are not alone in this. Our team is on and participating, including the Financial Health Network's Mark Feldman, who leads our consulting practice. He will be online to point you to additional resources and address questions about how you can apply the tactics you hear about today at your organizations. We will do our best to address as many questions as possible during each session, but please note we are always available, so do not hesitate to reach out during and after the sessions. If you scroll near the bottom of this page, you'll find resources related to the topics we'll be covering during today's sessions. If you have any technical questions or issues throughout the day, please click on the chat bubble at the bottom right of your screen. 
closed captioning is available, please see the link below the streaming window to access this feature. Now before we get started, let's get to know each other a little better. Please respond to our quick, quick poll on the right hand side of the chat box. Well, it looks like we have a mix of industries today and perspectives represented. Please don't hesitate to add your commentary in the chat box and throughout our sessions. Without further ado, we bring you our first session, Vision. Please join me in welcoming Kristen Holt, President and CEO of Greenpath Financial Wellness, for a fireside chat with Reba Dominski, U.S. Bank's Chief Social Responsibility Officer and Foundation President, to discuss how U.S. Bank is building its vision for financial health. 